This video is designed to show you how to take care of your Williams Mini Jet to ensure it runs smoothly every time you take it out on the water. Like any boat, your Mini Jet needs to be serviced regularly by a trained professional. The first service interval should be at 50 hours of use, and after this you should arrange one every 100 hours, or yearly. The full service schedule can be found inside the owner's manual. To find the nearest service agent for your Minijet, simply go to the dealer locator on our website. As well as the scheduled servicing, we strongly recommend that you carry out the following simple maintenance tasks on a regular basis. When you inflate the tubes on your Minijet, it's really important that you start with the rear valves, followed by the front valves. If you don't inflate them in this order, you may cause damage. The tubes should be inflated to a pressure of 3.6 psi or 250 millibars. This will make them fairly hard to the touch. Before you use your mini jet, always open the engine hatch and check the bilges are dry and free from oil, water or coolant. Check the coolant level to make sure it's between the minimum and maximum marks shown on the reservoir. You'll need to apply good quality marine grease periodically to the steering, reverse and throttle cables. Remember to grease the cables at the back too. While doing this, you should also check the condition of the anodes and replace them if worn. Always use either a specialist dielectric grease or Vaseline on the battery and starter solenoid terminals. It's a good idea to give the engine compartment a spray with a high quality corrosion guard every so often. We recommend doing this once a month. It's really important to wash your mini jet down with fresh water after each use. This will remove any salt deposits and help prevent corrosion. It really does make a difference. You'll find the specifications for all oils, fuels and lubricants in the owner's manual, which you can also download from our website. As with any vehicle, it's important to regularly check the oil level in your mini jet you should never do this on a cold engine. For an accurate oil level reading, run the engine until warm. You should not run the engine out of water for longer than two minutes to prevent the carbon shaft seal from overheating. Then, switch the engine off and open the engine hatch to locate the oil filler and dipstick. Wipe the dipstick with a clean tissue and you'll see it has two markings, minimum and maximum. Once you've wiped the dipstick, simply push it back in making sure that you don't screw the cap in. Ideally, you want your oil level to be between the two markings. If you ever overfill the engine, please don't take your mini-jet out on the water. You'll need to contact your local Williams agent so that the engine can be drained properly. For more information about the care and maintenance of your mini-jet or anything else, just give us a call or drop us an email and we'll be happy to help.